In this video, you'll learn how to choose the best carpet for your home, including how to spot good quality, what colors to use, as well as how to maintain them. That's starting right now. Welcome to Home Buyer School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. Hi everyone, I'm Carl. Welcome to another Home Buyer School video, a channel where you get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips from experts to help you with your home buying journey. Now remember, if this is your first time on this channel and you want to get the latest strategies from the experts, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I'm joined by Rebecca Hotchkiss, interior designer with Brookfield Residential, and today we're going to talk about and answer the question, how do you choose the best carpet for your home? So uh, Rebecca, to start off with, what are the different types of carpet? I mean, different types boils down to a lot of things. You have okay. different materials, you have different styles. I would say primarily people look at the different styles. That's what we have here. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, you can see this it would be a quite simple, like a cut pile. Um, this is a bit of a longer, people maybe know it as like a shag sort of frise look. You have a combination of a cut and a loop, and then you have a loop. So that's one way to describe types of carpet. And then the next would obviously be materials. So Rebecca, how would you know um, if a carpet is good quality? Uh, it depends on the material, that's one aspect. Um, different materials do come with different warranties. Uh, so good quality could be a 25 year warranty for some people, could be a lifetime warranty for other people, it just depends on what you're looking at. So when you install carpet, do they kind of look darker when you install them than when you see them, or do they look lighter? Uh, generally we say they look about one to two shades lighter. Okay. Um, so the darkest you'll see it is is in this application mm -hmm. right here. When you're looking at it from, from a design point of view, does it matter in terms of where you put the lighter carpet or the darker carpet? Generally, we tend to use the same carpet throughout mm -hmm. a home just for consistency, kind of for that flow. Um, I mean, if you did want to do something like a little bit of a more luxurious carpet and maybe an ensuite, that mm -hmm. could be an area. But generally speaking, we do the same throughout. So stairs, um, basements, upstairs, other bedrooms. Okay, so you actually wouldn't use different types of carpets? Not really, really? no. Okay. We, we tend to do the same just to keep it keep it simple. High traffic areas like stairs where you may see a little bit more wear and mm -hmm. tear, we generally prefer to do something a little bit of a, like a lower pile, but if, I mean, it's just stairs to your upstairs, people will keep it all the same. Some people don't even have carpeted stairs, so you don't even have to worry about that because normal wear and tear would be the same throughout bedrooms, throughout hallways, that kind of thing. So Rebecca, I think the number one question which all of us want to know is what type of carpet is easier to clean? Depends on the material. I mean, you're looking at things like wool, which mm -hmm. is great for dirt, and then you're looking at things like nylon, which is great for other staining products. Yeah. So depending on the carpet you have, it can be treated differently, um, making maintenance of it easier or harder depending on the material. Because I know before we actually started rolling, you were talking about the vacuum, mm -hmm. uh, I think marks. So how, can you explain how does that work? Um, so here you have a bit of a longer pile. So yeah. I mean, it looks more like that shag. This is where you see things. So you see vacuum marks, you see okay. footprints. It never will look just perfect. Okay. Something like a little bit more lower of a pile like this, um, it's got that cut and the loop, it hides that. Because it's so so small um, and so short, you, you don't have that movement. This one, again, that loop, even a little bit less, but this is for sure yeah. uh, where you see the most vacuum marks. <laughs> and I also want to talk about staining too, in terms of how to get stains out, because I know a nephew, nephew of mine came over to my house and put like one of those goop stains onto the carpet, even no matter how much you vacuumed it, you couldn't, like it was stuck on. Is there like a different type of carpet that could prevent that? Um, I mean, you, you can't prevent everything for sure, but having a man-made fiber, like a Triexta, may be your better solution. Okay. Um, it's probably your most durable, um, your easiest to clean, and they generally have the longest warranty. Some are 25 years, some are even a lifetime warranty. Um, so that's probably your better bet. Something like a natural material, like a wool, would be a lot harder to clean something like that out of. When you talk about warranty, and I remember in a previous video we talked about um, uh, carpet replacement, and is it true that you actually need your carpets to be professionally clean for, for, an actu for your warranty take into effect? Uh, it depends on the manufacturer. Okay. We do have some manufacturers that every 18 months you do have to have it professionally cleaned and proof of that in order to um, have that lifetime warranty. Okay. And then others just given the nature of the material, they're confident enough that you don't need to have that professionally cleaned just with your normal, normal vacuum cleaner um, is good enough to have that warranty intact. So Rebecca, what, um, what, which type of carpet makes your room look bigger? Um, I would do a carpet that's sort of tone on tone with your walls. That'll make it feel larger. Um, your floor will sort of carry up onto the walls and you'll have like kind of that grand space. Um, 
Doing a darker carpet, it may create contrast, which some people like, but on the downside, it may make your room feel a little bit smaller. And if you want to know more about picking the color uh, when painting your interior of your house, check out this video and as well as I'll leave it in the description below. So, and in terms of color, how do you choose the right color for your, uh, for your rooms and in your carpet? Um, I mean, you just have to look at your palette. If you are going with warm grays, you want to do a warm gray carpet. Mm -hmm. um, lighting can be a big thing with carpet. Even with these ones here, you can see we have a little bit of a fleck, so a light strand and a dark strand. So that kind of works to our benefit sometimes when um, we're working with a few different colors within that home. Mm -hmm. It kind of bridges the gap, which is nice. Um, and like maybe for 2019, 2020, what are some of the most popular carpet colors, I guess? Um, I mean, seeing. we're seeing a lot of gray beige. Mm -hmm. You know, it's been popular for a few years, but it is not going anywhere. Yeah. Um, it kind of, it's a nice warm gray, works with, with all sorts of different tones within your home. So Rebecca, do you have anything else to add in terms of carpet selection tips uh, for a new home? Um, I really think it just boils down to looking at your lifestyle. I mean, different colors suit different lifestyles, different piles suit different lifestyles. I mean, if you're doing vacuuming in your home a yes. lot or if you have kids or pets yeah. um just you have to look at different factors to to figure out what suits you best so the question of the day i have for you is what type of carpet do you use for your home as well as uh do you have any additional tips uh when selecting carpet uh when moving into a new home let us know in the description uh, below if you want to know more about carpets and flooring check out this playlist here as well as additional videos on interior design right here i'll see you in our next video